so I, I recently spoke to an ex-colleague of yours and recently got into the Premier League and this is something that I see quite a bit. The minute that a player either gets to the Premier League or gets their first pro contract, there are a lot of people circling around knowing how much money these people are earning now. Was that the case for you when you signed, when you started making a name for yourself at Arsenal and signed at Nottingham Forest? Did you have a lot of people coming to you with the next big idea, the next big investment, the next big, you know, opportunity, they might call it? Yeah, I got I got stung a couple of times. Um, but it's hard, like, you think, oh, they're very trustworthy, you get to know them, they seem nice at the time, mm. and then they put your money in something, it doesn't work, and you're like, where's my money? then they drop off the face of the earth. Don't hear from them. Don't hear from them. <laughs> and you're like, you're stuck with no money and an investment and then you've got to try and save again to go again. Do they make, and this is something that I always say to people that I meet, what we do is not sexy. Do they make the investment sound sexy? Do they make it sound like you'll double your money? Or is it just they make themselves out to be your friend and so what they're going to do is... Yeah, I think they befriend you, befriend your family, make it all nicey-nicey and... I'd say sexy, but you've got to see through that. And um, if I was, if I had my knowledge now that I did back then, I'd be in a totally different place than I am now. Interesting. How different? I'd be sat on a beach with a big cigar. <laughs> <laughs> Your wife wouldn't let you do that, so no, you wouldn't. <laughs> She'd be with me. She'd be with you. What about the kids? Who's going to take them to school every day? Mm-hmm.